see how it is now. Good, Hisiclick, recycling app. What we are going to do now is to create our login page and we do it in the same way we did to create our loader page. We go to the command line and type G. Notice that last time I wrote generate here and this time I'm writing only G. The two options are possible, so let's keep going. I will create a page in the pages folder and that page will be called login. I press enter and here we can see that the login page structure has been created and also the app routing module file already has the instruction for the login page. If I come back to the browser and put the login route in the URL, it will show us our login page and that's exactly what happened. So let's edit this page so it looks similar to a login screen. To do this, I'm going to close all the folders I have here open and I'm going to go to the HTML of the login page. To start, I'm going to remove the header because a login page usually doesn't have that. Okay, so here's our login page without the header. I want my login page to be like this page appearing on your screen, a green background, a card centered on the screen with the title Hesiclica, an email field, a password field, a forgot email password button, a login button and a registration button. So, remember that we have already learned how to centralize everything on the screen, so let's start with this. I'll put here in the content of the page the text login page, which is just for us to check if everything is being centered on the screen. I'll save it and then for now we can see here it's not centered. In the loader.page.scss file we already have the code that centers the text in the screen. Well, I noticed that this code is going to be necessary in a lot of parts of the application. So the best thing I have to do here is to remove this code from that specific loader page and put that code in the global.scss file. This file here has the global application styles. After changing it and saving all the files, we will still be able to see that our loader page continues with that icon in the middle of the screen. Now for the login page we will need to create a container like the one in the loader page. That container is going to have a class flex center and then I'm going to put the login page inside of that container. When I save it the login page text will be in the middle of the screen. Alright, now let's create the card that will have the login fields inside of it. If we go to the Ionic Components page, we will find this component here, Ion Card. This is the component that we are going to use to simulate that card. Let's copy here the example code of the component and let's paste it in where the login page text is. I'll save it and let's see how it turned out. Good, we already have the card centralized in the screen. Let's first remove the subtitle that will not be necessary. Let's change the card title to Hesiclica. I'll save it and we'll see how it is now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to make this title to have a green color and we can do that by putting a color equals success. Good, now it's green. Now let's put the input field inside of the card. If again we come to the Ionic Components page, we can find the Ion Input component, which is exactly the component that we need. You can see that we have several options for the input fields. We have the format with the text here on the left side. It has the format with the text on the top. And we also have this format, which is the one I prefer, with a floating text. So let's use that format with the floating text. And down here we have the code example. I'm going to copy it and paste it here in the content of my card. Save it and let's see how it is in our app. Amazing, so if I click here, the title will float and I can type anything I want. Good. Let's inform that this field has the type email and I'm also going to change its label to email. To put this type email in our field makes it easier to use it in mobile applications because when the user clicks on this field, it will open the keyboard with the email format. I mean with the at sign there to make it easier to end the email information. Now what I'm going to do is to copy this field here, paste it and create the password input. Another thing I'm going to do also is to change the type of it from email to password. I'll save it and let's see how it looks on the screen. Okay, I have the email field and I have the password field. Next step for us is to create the buttons of the screen. Again, going to the components, we can see here the Ion button component. For the forgot email slash password button, I will put this dark button black, right? To do this, I'm going to copy the button code. I'm going to paste it here and enter forgot email slash password. I'm going to save it and let's see how it looks on the screen. 
This button here is kind of ugly, right? It's getting a lot of attention. As I don't want it to call too much attention, I'm gonna put a white background on it. For this, I'll say that the feeling of it is clear. Good, getting less attention. But another thing I don't like here is that the text is in capital letters. I prefer it in lowercase. For this, I have to come here in the login.page.scss and I'll inform that the ion button, which has the color property equal to dark, will have the text transformation attribute equals to initial. Okay, so the button text will be a normal text. It will be exactly like I put here in the text. What's making that button to have capital letters is that this text transformation is uppercase. So as I want it to be normal, I'll put here as initial. I'll save it and let's see how it looks. Yeah, it's exactly the way I wanted. Another problem here is this button text is not centralized and this is happening because the button size has not the size of the full component. In order to make it occupy the entire space of the component, I need to put here size equals to full. And then it will occupy the entire component and the text will be centered. Now let's create the login button. To do this, I write here ion button color equals to success because I want it to be green and I write the text login. Okay, the button is small and as I want it to occupy the entire component, I will put the size of it as full. And then here you can see it with the full size. And the next step is to create our register button. I'm going to just copy and paste this from here and change the text to register. Let's see how it turned out after saving it. And that's it. Actually, there is a detail here that I don't like. I want the register button to be different from the login button. Actually, to differentiate both of them, I will make the register button to have the background also transparent. We can do this the same way as we did it for the forgot email slash password button. I'll copy and paste, put the filling as clear, I'll save it, and then we have the differentiation. So now, yeah, this screen looks good. The only thing that is missing here, again, is to make the background have the green color. To do this, we have to change the style of the screen and we do this in the login.page.css file. Here I will identify that the content of our screen will have a green background. Let's save it, but notice that I don't want it to be any shade of green color. I want it to be exactly that green color of the button, that success color. To get that color, I can come to our themes file, which contains all the ionic theme variables. And then I'm going to copy this variable here, the ion color success. I will declare here that the variable is being used. I will type var parenthesis ion color success. And now, yes, we are using for the background of our screen, that green color of the ion button. But if we go to the screen, we'll notice that background is still white and the reason for that we can find here in the Ionic component. I'm going to go into the Ion Content component. I'll search for it, Ion Content. Okay, I found the Ion Content component and we can identify down here that the CSS property of the screen background is double minus background. I put only background, so let's put double minus here and with this, the background of our screen is green. Yeah, now I'm satisfied with this screen. Let's move on to the next screen, which is the registration screen. Again, we'll need to go to the command line and let's type ionic g page pages slash register. After a few seconds, this screen is created. Here we can see its folder and let's go to the browser, see how it looks now. I have a header with the register text and a blank body. Then what we have to do now are some changes to make this registration page look like this page in the image you're seeing now in your computer screen. On it, the whole screen has a green background. It has a header named register. It has three cards, the first being a card for the user type, the second being a card for user data, and the third being a card for the address information. So let me close everything I have opened here. Let's go to the register.page.html file and I'm going to write the page title with a capital R. Now let's make the content background green in the same way that we did the login page background. For this, I'm just going to copy this code here and paste it in the register.page.scss file. After this, we go to the register screen and we can see the content background is green. 
I'll make the header also green. And in order to do this, I come to the HTML page and I inform the toolbar color is success. And then we have the header also in green color. Now let's create the three cards from our registration page. To do this, I come to the registration HTML file and I inform that I have an ion card Inside of this ion card, I have an ion card header. Inside of this ion card header, I have an ion card title. And the title that I'm going to put is What do you want to do with the recyclable waste? I'm going to save it and let's go to the screen. I'm going to save it and let's go to the screen. Here you can see our card with the title. Cool. Now let's add the fields of our first card. The idea here of this card is to identify if the user is a partner that wants to sell its recyclable waste or if the user is a customer wanting to buy recyclable waste. You as the user can only be one of the two, so the field type that we will have here is a radio button. If we go to the Ionic components looking for radio, we find here the Ion Radio Group. And we can see here how to use the radio group so let's copy this code and paste it in our page inside of the ion card content i'll paste it and uh, it was missing the close tag i'll save it and let's see how it looks on our screen i have a title that in fact i don't need it and i have the radio buttons here i can only select one at a time let's remove the title the ion list header let's change the text to i want to buy it that means that I want to buy the recyclable material, right? The value of the radio button is going to be client because who wants to buy is a client, a customer. And the second radio button will be I want to sell it. As this is for our partner and our partner wants to sell its recyclable waste. So I'm going to put here partner, okay? Let's see how it looks in the screen. Here, I want to buy it, I want to sell it. Another thing that I would do is to put this buy in capital letters just to draw more attention and the sell in capital letters also just to draw more attention. And another thing I want to do is to put the radio button on the left side of the screen. In order to do that, I just say that its slot is at the beginning, slot start on the two radio buttons. And so this button will come to the left side of the screen. I can only select one of them and that's exactly what I wanted. Now let's move to the next card. To save some time, I will copy this card here, paste it and remove everything inside of its content and change its title. This next card will get the customer contact information. So I'm going to put it here, contact. Okay, I'll save it and let's see how it's looking now. Contact. So let's create the contents of our card. First, it will have a name field. I'll come here to our login page, I'll copy the email field to make it easier for me, and I will change the label to name, and the type will be text. Let's save it and let's see how it looks. Okay, I have the name input field here. The next field is an email field, so copy and paste already worked. Our next field is going to be a password field, and its type is also password. Next is a confirm password field, confirm password. And then I will say that it's also of the password type. I will save it and let's see how it looks. Okay, everything's going well. And our next field is a phone field. I will put phone number here and I will put the tell type. The tell type here identifies that this is a phone-like field. And with it, in a similar way with the email type, the keyboard will show the keys specific for phones. I mean, no letters will show up, only numbers. I'm going to save it and let's see how it looks now. Yeah, it looks great. Here I have the name field, the email field, I have a password field and I have a phone field. Now let's create our last card, which is the address card. To do this, I will create an ion card. I will create an ion card header 2 for the header. I'm going to create an ion card title for the header title, which will be address information. I will create now the contents of the card and let's see how it looks. Address information, cool. Now we will create the address field. The first address field is exactly called address. So I'm just going to copy here to make it easier and I'll change the name to address. It will continue to be text. The next field is the address number. So I'm going to write here number and I will inform its type as tell also. 
Now let's go to the next field, which is the neighborhood field. And then I'll inform that it is a text field also. I'll save it and let's see how it looks. Okay, neighborhood. The next field is a complement field, so I'm going to change the text here to complement, and it also has a text type. Let's save it and let's see how it looks. Now let's do it in a faster way and let's create three more fields, one being zip code. It also has the type tell. I'm going to create here another field called state. It's going to be text type and the last field called city, which will also have a text type. I'll save it and let's find out how it looks. All right, I have here all the address data. In the future, I'll transform that state field into a selection field. But for now, we are going to use it as a text field. Now, the only thing that is missing is the button for me to really be able to make my registration. So let's create our button, I own button, and I will put the text as register and let's see how it looks. Here's our button and it's blue and it's inside of the card. I think it looks better if it stays out of the card and with another color. So I'll cut it and put it here. I will inform that it will have also a full size. To change its color, I will select the light color. Let's see how it looks. Looks a lot better and now I'm going to change its style so it doesn't go beyond the edges of the card. To do this, I come to the CSS file, I will identify that button and I will inform that it has a 10 pixel margin. I'm going to save it and let's see how it turned out. Amazing. Now, yeah, now it looks good. This margin means that a spacing was added around the field, around the button, a spacing of 10 pixels. So, all right, it looks great and this is our registration page. And here on this video, we focused only on the components of these three pages and the design. We didn't program any actions or any button clicks or page transitions or anything like this. And there is a really good reason for that. During the time I worked as a freelancer, I learned that it's always better to show to our client as soon as possible something that the client can actually see and interact with. By doing this as fast as we can, we'll get also as soon as possible the feedback from our clients telling us what to do next and what's good, what's not good, what should we keep trying and what we should just quit trying. So with that in mind, on the next video, we are going to take a look on a few other components that exist on the Ionic framework and we are also going to develop three new pages for our application. The first page is going to be the page that the user sees when the user logs in or registers in our application. The second page is going to be that one where the user will be able to create a recyclable waste pickup call. And the third page will be the one where the user will be able to see a list of all the pickup calls that the user created. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave your comments and doubts here on the comment section and also subscribe to the channel in case you're not subscribed. And see you on the next video.